To draw the Lewis structure for P3 minus, the phosphide ion, let's first draw the Lewis structure for phosphorus as it's found on the periodic table. On the periodic table, phosphorus, that's a neutral element. It doesn't have a charge, so it's not an ion. So let's get rid of our charge, and then we'll change phosphide to phosphorus. So phosphorus, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5a, and that means it has five valence electrons. These are the electrons in the highest energy level, sometimes called the outer shell. So let's put five valence electrons around phosphorus, and that would be the Lewis structure for just phosphorus, the neutral element. But we're interested in P3 minus, the phosphide ion. So we'll put our three minus back up here and then change the name to phosphide. And then because we have the minus three, the negative three here, electrons, they're negative. So this means that we have three extra electrons. So let's put those three electrons around the phosphorus. And when we do that, we have the phosphide ion with eight valence electrons. That's called an octet, and that's very stable. And that's why phosphorus has a minus three charge, because adding those three electrons gives us an octet. We should also add brackets around it so we have the right notation. And that's the Lewis structure for the phosphide ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.